Welcome to Earth Love Global, Myco Remediation Services of Australia. Here we have some spinach that's been growing in water, some seeds, some Earth Love Global products, and some other seeds. But more to the point, we are talking about biochar remediation. Look at this soil. We've got this soil from our local landscape supply. You can make your own through compost. And what is in here is, it's a highly active compost. There's manures, there's cow manures, there's um, pine wood chip bark. It's their highest quality soil that you can get. When we got it, it was really hot. So obviously you can't grow into it, but after a week, um, it's been sitting here, it smells really earthy. When you smell it, it smells earthy. There's, there's no uh, imbalances in the soil. So that was remediated pretty quickly, probably because we've only got it in about six inches deep, whereas the compost pile, if you've got it in a big compost pile, it would heat up a lot quicker. So today's about biochar, and biochar, if you have a look here, we've just done it out of a hot, hot, um, hot burn, uh, and it's the leftover ambers of uh, pallet, timbers, pallets. And these timber pallets, uh, actually, when you leave them in water and soak them, uh, or you have rain, they actually mould up so you know that they're not treated and and they don't have chemicals in them. So these pallets are mainly for like carpet transferring in the industry. There's also pallets that would go into fridges and freezers. They're the ones that you don't touch. They're no good. We've used pine, pine bark. Uh, pine timber uh, biochar today and it's a lighter one compared to your hardwoods and stuff like that but the best part of it is when you don't burn it it's quite solid so this one's really solid whereas this one's gone through a real hot burn and look at the filaments within this there's so much room for all nutrients, moisture and minerals, animals, uh, fungi to live and stay alive in this biochar for thousands of years. So how to activate biochar correctly? Everybody talks about water, activate biochar with water. This is incorrect. When you want to really activate biochar, Go and get the highest quality soil from your landscape supply. Should be about $50 for half a tonne, half a cubic metre of, of compost. Put that pile in your backyard and let that go through the composting process. And you can actually get the soil, put it into a bucket, say a shovel full, put it into a bucket and mix up a whole heap of water with it and then you can pour it over your charcoal pile now that's how to activate it then you would go through the process of burying the charcoal for two weeks now why do i go to this effort if you want to highly activate biochar and get the life in charcoal you need to put it there. You can't just think, yep, I'm gonna put this charcoal straight onto the ground and think that plants are, aren't going to die because they definitely will. There's too much potassium and this is learnt by our own experiments as well. And the potassium locks up the soil and all of a sudden the plants start to wilt and die off, especially herbs, but you know, if you've got a landscape, um, 
where you've got millions of acres, which we do regenerate, millions of acres of land, effectively and efficiently, and we use biochar remediation, and we use that in compost teas and uh, all sorts of remediation systems that we've got in place. We've got multiple. If you check out our channel, we've got more, more information on that. But today is about biochar. So this charcoal is been sitting here on top of the soil. So it's not active. Underneath here would be. See, so there's some that's been buried. You know, we can come across here. Where we'll have a look here. All right, look. There's there's a little there's some that we've dug up out of the soil, and and that would be there the last two weeks. But on the top, it just won't activate. It will on the bottom side of, of the charcoal, but you want it all the way through. That is why we do a compost tea and we pour it over the top of the biochar. So then it soaks up that nutrients, it soaks up those uh, microbes. And, and the compost tea is a cold, quick five minute compost tea. You basically put the soil into water and then water, mix it up, and all that good humus and soil and microbes, then you put it, pour it onto the biochar. And then put your biochar, dig down, and put your biochar into and mix some soil around it for two weeks straight. That is how to regenerate biochar and activate it. This is the correct way. And this is the only way to do it properly first time every time. Done when you've done that, you can go to your other garden beds and put that in and remediate your other garden beds around your plants. And you're never going to have a problem with your biochar killing off your plants or creating imbalances in your soil. See, I've just broken up this. Look at that, like the microbes in there would be going a berserk they love they love biochar so this is our biochar remediation uh, practices that we use out on million acre properties we use this right across in all garden types uh, all agriculture regenerative agriculture nurseries we do all all remediation for soils landscapes cattle farms properties no matter the soil type no matter the landscape we're able to regenerate it and this is the quickest and easiest way to really drive that biodiversity in your soil and grow really abundant healthy soil when you have healthy soil your seeds love just absolutely love they soak up all that nutrients in in the soil and grow abundantly so we're going to do a plant out probably later this afternoon and happy planting so this is a biochar 101 a diy course on biochar by earth love global earth love global inoculates and helps farmers landowners soil regenerators, uh, ecosystems, uh, landscapers, anyone growing in soil to regenerate their soil on a scale that they've never seen before. Thank you again. This is by the Earth Love Global team for 2021 Biochar Remediation Services. You're going to find some nails, obviously, from your pallets in this it is iron it is okay to have this in but we have taken them out and put them into a bucket so we've been going through the soil after we've tipped out the biochar and put them into the bucket and got rid of the excess nails but some of the nails that are in there if there is any left I highly doubt it we've gone through it pretty well um, they would end up rusting and all the microbes and myco restoration that we use in our compost teas and biochar by Earth Love Global 
uh, myco remediation is a powder which I showed you in the gold packet we'll come back over here and just quickly grab that so this this is what you would want to inoculate your charcoal with this stuff is the future in soil health myco remediation is beneficial fungi now when you inoculate your biochar with this the microbes and the myco remediation spores that are in here are so highly active they are ready to kickstart any seed germination any plant germination within your soil it is about 240 dollars a kilo but that kilo will do a hectare of land for farmland right across any any landscape in australia and basically the fungi disappears if they can't be used in that ecosystem they will die off in about 12 months time um, as it is a living organism but say we put a seed so we get a seed here we'll pretend this is a seed and we put that seed there on the biochar and that falls in underneath the soil like that so the seeds under there these microbes will stay alive for 12 months now that seed germinates this biochar supports that all the microbes in here especially spores if they if the spores are there they last a lot longer in the charcoal the charcoal preserves it so we go through and we bury that and what will happen now is that this here is highly active in fungi and that fungi is beneficial for 85 percent of the terrestrial plants in the world and if you want to turn drought ridden properties around or you want to turn your garden around then earth love global myco remediation is the way to go thank you again find us on google you can call us go 